All right, seventh graders, symbols of inclusion. And you are familiar with them, but maybe you don't think of them as that name. But if we said three, uh, well, let's make this plus four minus seven. And we put some parentheses in here. Parentheses are examples of symbols of inclusion. They tell us the order of operations. Uh, and they want to show here in mathematics, sometimes you'll have what are called brackets. Or you will also see what are called braces. Sometimes and numbers can be between braces. And a lot of times a computer will automatically do that. Say if you get 3 plus 4. So you see some braces here. And then they'll say uh, times 8, and then they'll put a bracket around that. That means that's the next one. And then divided by 4, and a parenthesis around that one. So here at the beginning, you see all of them together. But it just helps to differentiate the order with what you do them. And it's very easy to do on a computer to make those different shapes. Not as easy as uh, writing. So as you go through these examples, you'll see those. All right, here we have example one, and we have to simplify within the parentheses. So first I have 10 minus five, that will be uh, five. Put my bracket here, oops. Then I'll have 20, and then I'll have 50. So we go down one more step, now I can do 20 plus five, that'll be 25. And write that there, 50 minus 25. And that will give me my answer, which will be 25. So again, important to do it in that order. If I had done it in a different order, I would have come up with a different answer. All right, in this one, we see something a little bit special. Right away, right away you see these don't look like parentheses or brackets or braces. And you'd be correct, if you remember. That means the absolute value of whatever number is in here. So no matter what number we get, it's going to be a positive number because we're just telling how far away from zero that answer would be. So let's go ahead and go through the steps of doing this. So 4 minus 6 would be a negative 2, but since we want to know the absolute value of that there, we have 2. We'll put the plus 2 here, and 8 minus and 12. Okay. Now, in this instance, this really is not set in a parenthesis or anything special, so we can do this whole problem here from left to right. 8 minus 2 plus 2. So 8 minus 2 will be 6, plus 2 will be 8 again. So I'll have 12 minus 8. And now I can solve that. 12 minus 8 will be 4, and that's going to be my final answer. So again... Up here we have the absolute value of that number. 4 minus 6 is negative 2, but we want the absolute value of that, which would be 2. All right, here in example 3, we have a division bar. A division bar can be a symbol of inclusion as well. It kind of separates the top part from the bottom part. And it doesn't mean that after 7 we divide by 10 but we treat everything up here as if it was in a parenthesis and everything down here. And once we have one number on the top and one number on the bottom, then we can solve the problem. So, again, this symbol of inclusion says, though, all of these numbers on the top and all of them were in parentheses, so I solved just one problem. Uh, order of operations tells me I've got to do multiplication first and then left to right addition and subtraction. Down here, I've got subtraction and subtraction. i got to do this one first. So let's take a few steps and rewrite this. Uh, the top will be 4 plus, then 5 times 6 is 30, so 30 minus 7. And the bottom will be 10 minus 9 minus 8 is 1. We got that. The next step here then, uh, 4 plus 30 will be 34 minus 7. 10 minus 1 will be 9. So I'll continue working up here. 34 minus 7. That's going to be 27 over 9. 27 over 9. That will equal 3. So 
So my answer here for example 3 would be 3. The rest of your uh, book talks about using calculators here and uh, you can uh, practice going through those just using the parentheses key. Uh, those of you that have scientific calculators it's a little bit easier to see because you can see your work. If you don't have one that's fine. You just have to make sure you punch the numbers in order because if you would hit a parenthesis in an inappropriate spot, that would definitely change the outcome of the answer. You can get started on your practice set.